Assalamu alaikum and hello. My name is Adil, one of the good looking gentlemen in this picture. This is my friend Nabil, the second best looking, behind me, of course. I was so ecstatic to learn about Nabil and Saima's pending marriage. However, it made me think can Nabil actually be a good husband? I just had to investigate. First place I looked, naturally, McMaster University, where we all went. I went to the registrar's office to obtain Nabil's transcript. Aside from his stellar marks, I saw that he went to Harvard for a course in home economics. I had to investigate further. So I traveled to Harvard. And I admired the beauty of how it feels to pay 60k in tuition. Damn, the grass is beautiful. Yeah, that's right, Tanesh. Harvard Law. Jealous? Okay, let's speed this up. Anyway, I went inside Harvard and what I found was astonishing. I opened the door, walked to the graduating portrait class of that year, and lo and behold, look what I found. There he was. Nabil Sayyid's graduating portrait. Perplexed as I was, I went to talk to Nabil's former teacher for the home economics class, Dr. Shahid. Thank you for doing this for me, Dr. Shahid. I wanted to ask, do you remember a student of yours by the name of Nabil Sayyid? I do. He was a very bright young student. How did he do in home economics? quite well in the husband unit and uh, he improved quite a bit during the father unit but he did master toilet cleaning. Do you think Nabil will make a good husband? So for our final assignment in the class he chose to do a honeymoon planning activity which he excelled in so whoever his wife is going to be is going to have a great honeymoon. Thank you very much for that. I really do appreciate it. Alright, so he had the education. But did he have the maturity to be a good husband? I went to find out. I met up with Usman Wasim, a friend of his, to see how good of a friend Nabil actually is. So can Nabil be a good friend? Oh yeah, Nabil's a great friend. You can call him up anytime. He, he'll take you to McDonald's. He feeds you a fish fillet. All day. Do you think Nabil can be a good husband? He'll be a great husband. He'll take her to McDonald's. Let her, uh, give her a fish fillet. All day. And he's sensitive. He cries with you. He will hold your hand and cry with you. Oh my goodness, does he even know what he's saying? Come on! Yep, one second. I'll just turn you up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, what up? Um, Osman's baby? Yeah, what up? Um, why do you sound like Jawad? Yo, it's cool, bro. It's cool. Why you be tripping? Man, I need some more convincing that Nabil can be a good husband. Bruh, you need to interview someone more authoritative. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. You are a genius. Since Feb 2014. Oh, yeah. I took Usman's baby's advice and interviewed someone with a bit more authority who can finally convince me that Nabil can be a good husband. Thank you for being here with me today, sir. How are you doing? It's great to see you. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing great. So you've known Nabil for a while now. You both went to Harvard, albeit for different reasons. You went for law, he went for home economics. But based on your perspective, what sort of expectations should a woman like his wife Saima have about how they should be treated? So I think they've got 
pretty high expectations. A man is supposed to treat a woman with yeah. respect and as a partner and as an equal. That be showing you respect mm -hmm. and is kind. And a friend of mine. I do agree with you there, sir. Nabil is a very kind man and will show her a lot of respect. In extension, what sort of gifts or surprises can Saima, can Saima expect from Nabil? Now, the little sad attitude is the older you get, the harder you are to shop for because if you wanted it, you would have bought it anyway. <laughs> but it is also true that Nabi will love her to death. Couldn't agree more there, sir. You've been married a long time now. What sort of advice would you give the young couple? Being able to laugh with your team about yeah. some of the crazy stuff that happens. Um, and. You know, you can't take yourself too seriously. You have to take the job seriously. Right. You have to take your responsibilities seriously, but you, know, you have to be able to laugh at yourself first and foremost in order to be able to manage the whole thing. Do you think Nabil can be a good husband? Absolutely. Would you care to explain? Last <laughs> <laughs> question, and I have to ask, how many kids do you think Nabil and Sam will have? 16. Well, there you have it, folks, the presidential seal of approval. I think it's safe to say we truly cannot wait for the 16 bundles of joy. I am now convinced that Nabil can be a great husband. Saima, I'll leave this with you, and I feel this really consolidates everything I've learned. He's kind, patient, understanding, a bit sensitive, but a total catch. Nabil? Uh, hello? I, I, I don't like you. You never called me. I keep hearing about these phone calls, but it's your birthday, so uh, happy birthday, and um, I love you, man. I love you too, Nabil. I love you too. Congratulations to the both of you.